Hi, my name is Robin Birdsell. I am going to share a little bit about my tithing story uh, with you today. Um, I grew up in church. Uh, I remember seeing my mom tithe. I remember seeing her give um, her check every week. Uh, but it wasn't something that was really discussed in, in our house a lot. And I don't remember it being discussed in church. And so as, as I grew up, I, I did find a little bit of a disconnect. I found it hard to understand how um, giving to your local church was the same as giving to God. Um, I, there, there was just a disconnect for me there. And when we started uh, River Lake Church, uh, I really did feel uh, God convicting us to give. Um, uh, to, to build this wonderful church. But we had really messed our finances up. We were in debt. We were in credit card debt. We had car payments. We had a house payment. We may have even had student loans still at that time. Uh, we really were in a, an upside down position. And it really bothered me that we couldn't uh, give more than, than what we were. And there were times, many times, I would sit down to pay our bills and I would, I would feel like God was calling us to give more, but I just didn't see where that would come from. And I remember uh, Pastor Nick uh, preaching one Sunday on tithing uh, and money and giving and explaining it, and he really just said, you know, if, you, if, if you've messed it up like we had, he encouraged us to pick a percentage and just start somewhere. And so that's what we did. And we started with 3%. And we, I, I put up way too much thought into it and I took out retirement and uh, Social Security because I'm thinking I'll tithe on that later. Um, and actually, I felt be better um, afterwards. Uh, I felt like God honored that, and I did not feel the conviction um, that I had before. And I believe that was part of His grace in me taking that first step. And so, I remember that year, we received the largest tax return we'd ever gotten in our life and it allowed us to pay off some bills and uh, really step into that next phase of giving. Um, we went to, uh, we upped it to 7% after that. And I uh, felt like, again, God honored that. I, I was at peace with where we were with that 7%. And during this time, I started to receive phone calls from a bank that I'd never heard of, from a gentleman I'd never heard of, uh, wanting to refinance our home mortgage. And we were happy with it where, where we were and the interest rate that we had. We actually had a pretty decent interest rate. So um, if you've ever been through a refinance, they are not fun. Uh, it takes a lot of time and effort. And I really just was not interested. But for whatever reason, one day I answered this man's call. And he spoke to me about a refinance uh, program that really did sound too good to be true. There was no, um, we didn't have to provide tax returns. We, there was almost no closing cost. It was a, uh, of course, a, a lesser interest rate than what we had. And it was not going to tack on years uh, to our loan. And I was leery, I, and I, I was very transparent to this man that I, it sounded too good to be true, and, and he uh, encouraged me to look it up and research it, and he would be glad to talk with me afterwards. So that's what I did. And what I found out was um, he was correct. And so we went through the process and 
um, I, I do believe that that was part of God's blessing for us stepping into that um, seven percent tithe amount. Um, I believe that He He allowed us that that extra little money that we we received in, in our pocket each month from that refinance um, be, because we had been faithful. And then uh, so stuff still broke during this time. We were able to uh, create a little bit of an emergency fund during this time. So uh, that was a great blessing um, that we were able to uh, replace so, some appliances that, that broke during this time. Um, the, the next big step was that 10%. And I, um, like I said before, I believe that um, God gave us grace in, in our steps toward um, the 10% along the way. But I would start to feel convicted again when it was time to, to give more. So we, we started to give uh, the 10%. And again, I'd made my calculations based on um, it was the 10% after I deducted our retirement, what was coming out for retirement and Social Security. And I began to question if that was the right thing to do. And I remember uh, I had a meeting with Pastor Nick one day, and so I just asked him. I had already, you know, Googled what was the right thing to do. Um, I, I got, I got both answers. Both there were two schools of thought on it, so that was not helpful. So I, I just asked him. I said, well, you know, what's the right thing to do? And he was not helpful at all. He probably was a little bit, but um, and he just said that, that is a decision I, that. I need to talk with God and, and decide. And um, he did say, do you want God to bless your 401k? And, and of course the answer was yes. But I still, you know, I struggle with, is that, is that the right thing to do? Is to give 10% off the top, was it, which, was, which was a lot of money. Um, uh, when you consider the government takes 30%, and uh, you have a family. And um, so I was reading one day after this in, in Exodus, and it was where they were building the tabernacle. And we were going through our very first building campaign at the time. It was called 20 Mile March. And um, the, the Bible that I have is a life application Bible. So it will, so if you read a verse, um, and if you look down below, it'll have uh, maybe some additional explanation of what it means or how you can apply it to your life. And so I was reading about uh, building the tabernacle, and I get to the bottom where it says, it's explaining, chapter 35, verse 21, and it said, Those whose hearts were stirred gave cheerfully to the tent of the meeting, also called the tabernacle. With great enthusiasm, they gave because they knew how important their giving was to, com to the completion of God's house. And I just thought, well, there's my answer. Um, we, were, we were wanting to uh, get out of Ralphie's into our, our own space. And we were in this building campaign. And I was struggling with, do I, do I give... 10% before taxes and retirement or after. And I just believed God was saying, you need to give it off the top. That next week, I think it was the week following uh, that decision, um, I worked for the state at the time, uh, state government, and there was a hiring freeze on. Nobody was getting raises. It, it was a pretty tough financial time. And I get a call out of the blue, uh, and they told me that I was getting a raise. Even crazier thing was, uh, I think it was the following day, maybe two days later, it was within the same week, Robbie gets a call out of the blue. He got a raise too. So what I do believe is 
that because we were faithful, God blessed us. I don't believe that blessings always come financially, uh, but those are instances where they did for us. So later that same year, Robbie gets a call out of the blue from someone that he used to work with. And um, there was a job opening at um, this person's company and she thought of Robbie and um, wondered if he was interested in applying. So he thought, yeah, I'll apply. Um, went for the interviews, um, got a job offer. The job offer was um, be better compensation all the way around, better benefits, um, better compensation, just it, it, it was better. And he made the decision to go ahead and accept that job. What we didn't know was uh, later, sometime later, uh, Robbie's previous employer ended up closing their doors. Not only do I think God blessed us financially, I believe that I believe that he protected us uh, from Robbie uh, potentially losing his job later on. So I'm sharing this with you today to hopefully encourage you. If you're, if you're struggling with making that first step into giving or tithing, if you feel God's convicting you that you should be giving more or, or stepping into tithing, I hope this encourages you to take that first step to just start somewhere. Uh, the blessings that we have received financially and also uh, not financially has been incredible uh, throughout this time. Um, I, I do believe that um, we say it here all the time at River Lake that we don't want something from you. We want something for you. And I hope that you have seen through my life how my family taking that step of faith that God really did show up in a big way um, through his blessings through our life.